either side of the goalpost in case it's running wide. They'll try and pop it into the middle. Dan Keating, I believe he's riding uh, Lucy, this chucker. Lucy's a fabulous pony. Dan Keating goes with a shot. Anybody going to get to it? That Henry Wood does. Henry meets it. He's going to look up. He's going to want to see some whites running for him because he's going to pass the ball up there. Or maybe he'll just go himself. Kiwis hanging on to this one goal lead. Henry runs over that ball. Sam couldn't get the backhand. Great little play from Mike Stornock. Keeps the ball going forward. Henry tries the cut shot. Kiwis try and keep it in play, but I think it must have gone over the back line. So we'll have a hit in to the home team. And here comes Dan Keating. Sam Clements trying to make some move. Dan Keating sends a good shot up the field. Henry. Oh, he's a rare miss from Henry. That's all right, because Gussie's there. Sends the backhand. Dan Keating moving over. Oh, he's got away with that one because Mike was trying to run down the line. Mike's picked it up. Can he get past Keating? Keating just sort of controlling the, the approach to the ball. Dan Keating doing well. Tries to pop it around the corner. Doesn't manage it. Mike Stornock getting there. Roger. Roger Soto passes the ball to Dan. Dan picks it up. He's still got Mike Stornock with him. Dan. Dan looking up. Henry is just waiting. Nice little lofted shot from him. Henry, backhand, but he doesn't get enough of an angle. It's into the players. Henry's got a chance at it again, though. He's down in this bottom corner. Can he turn it around? He's getting some pressure. But he looks like he's come out with it. Gussie tried to get it. Roger Soto puts it back. Henry picks it up. That's brilliant play by Henry again. Now he's on the near side. He's looking up. He's going to try and move. Sam Clements going towards him. Has Henry got it? Oh, he's just got enough on it, but he hasn't got the direction. He got a powerful shot on him as that Henry Wood. Just needs to get a little bit more direction going. I think he's admiring himself on the Jumbotron as he went by. All right. Dan bringing in the shot again. These Kiwis got some pressure going on in this third chucker, but they haven't managed to convert it into anything. Dan brings the ball in. Kiwis marking up. Moving across towards him is George. George Gould. George Gould. Dan snuck by him. George was not paying attention. Dan goes by. Is Dan going the whole way? Is Dan going to even this up? He's got the ball running straight. It's looking good. Dan Keating. Keating and levels it all up with 40 seconds to go in this half. So, four all. We're going to get the 30 second bell, so we're going to go into half time. Because the ball was not in play, that will end that first half. Four all, pretty tight game. So, we'll put 20 minutes on the board. Uh, please come on the field and tread in. Obviously, the flatter the field, the better it plays, the better the ball runs. 20 minutes on the clock. Get your door entry forms in. If you're hungry, there's some great food options up there. There's the Newport Chowder Company, Village Greek. Wally's Hot Dog Cart, Hawaiian Gym, Shaved Ice. That would go down well. I'm not, is Amano Pizza really here today? Gosh, they're good pizzas if they are. I think they are. Brilliant pizzas. Uh, so great food options if you're hungry. Of course, do come to the bar if you're thirsty, the Twisted Pony Patio Bar. Um, and go check out Agnes's lovely uh, Newport Apparel Polo Shop. And, of course, there's, a, the, there's the George Osborne charity uh, fundraising uh, auction going on this the auction or the, the at the um, by the by the polo barn uh, wonderful items autographed Mac Jones jersey the Celtics big three jersey championship replica rings all sorts of goodies to look at if you're into sporty stuff and I'm gonna wander down and see if I can find Henry Wood and get a quick chat with him
right, so I've got Henry Wood here, the number four and captain of the Kiwi team. Henry, it's been hard work. There's a lot of stoppages. Does that make it difficult to keep the rhythm going? Yeah, no, 100%. It does make it really hard, especially we've given away a few few silly penalties, and uh, we've got to keep, we're always going backwards. We want to go forwards, and we need a few more penalties to go our way. So I think it just comes from being a wee bit more diligent, and hopefully the whistles start going the right way. Are you saying the umpires are, are, are not in your favour here, Henry? No, we just got to get a wee bit better. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for coming over. Are you enjoying yourselves? Are you having a good time? How was the ball last night? Yeah, no, it was, it was really good. The Newport hospitality has been lovely. We had a lovely time at the ball. And uh, glad I didn't go uh, any later, otherwise today would have been quite hard. All right, Henry, thanks very much. We'll get back to your team, talk tactics, get them. They're marking very well, so that's obviously working out for you guys at the moment. You got anything different going in for the second half, do you reckon? No, I don't think we need to make it any more complicated than it needs to be. So Thanks, Henry. Catch you later. See you in the winner's enclosure. Good luck.